Hello everyone. In this video, I am going to discuss about the Norma Vesalis. This is the basal view of the skull. In this, we can see the Norma Vesalis has been divided into three parts. First is the anterior part, which is lying anterior to the posterior margin of the alveolar arches. This is the posterior margin. The area lying anterior to this, this is the anterior part. And then the intermediate part, which is lying anterior to the imaginary line which is passing through the anterior border of the foramen magnum this is the foramen magnum so the area which is lying just anterior to the to its anterior margin this is the intermediate part and the area which is lying posterior to this line this is the posterior part of the norma basalis first we discuss about the anterior part in the anterior part we discuss the bony palate this is the bony palate and this is the alveolar arch so this bony palate this is made up of two bones first is the maxilla this is the maxilla and these are the palatine process of the maxilla and this is the horizontal plate of the palatine bone these two horizontal plates of the palatine bone these are fused by this suture this is the inter palatine suture and these are the two horizontal plates of the maxilla which are connected with the help of this suture this is the intermaxillary suture and when these two bones that is the maxilla and the palatine bones they are fused there is formation of this cruciate or cruciform suture on the hard palate so on the hard palate this is the posterior margin which gives attachment to the muscles of soft palate and in the midline this is the posterior nasal spine then this posterior nasal spine gives attachment to musculus uvuli muscle and the free margin of this posterior uh, border of the heart palate this is forming the attachment for the palatine aponeurosis then we have the greater palatine foramina so this is the greater palatine foramina which is giving passage for greater palatine nerves and vessels behind to this we have two or three lesser palatine foramina these are giving passage for lesser palatine nerves and vessels then anteriorly we have the incisive fossa on the lateral wall of this incisive fossa we can appreciate the small foramina these are the, the incisive palatine foramina or lateral incisive foramina these are transmitting the nasopalatine nerves these nasopalatine nerves these are passing from the nasal cavity to the oral cavity so the passage for the connection between the nasal cavity and the oral cavity is via this nasal uh, palatine foramina over here then we have the alveolar arch this is the alveolar arch in which we can see the sockets for the teeth this is horseshoe shaped and this is possessing the sockets for the teeth on the anterior side these are the socket for incisors then the canines then the premolars and molar so this is the anterior part of the norma basalis in the next video i will be coming up with the intermediate part of the norma basalis thanks for watching